Lanskega septembra je Škoda pokazala velik SUV s sedmimi sedeži, seveda na električni pogon in takrat je bil odziv publike, ja kaj se pa Škoda gre, da nam pripravlja avtomobil za samo bogate. No Škoda danes odgovarja s celotno paleto novih električnih avtomobilov, ampak kaj, ko so teli avtomobili vsi po vrsti trdi. To be honest, we're right in the process, yeah? So, and you can imagine that we cannot show now, today, the real cars, yeah? But we can show you the essence of the cars. So you get a look almost in the kitchen while we're cooking, yeah? Normally we use clay, yeah? Because clay is easier to take off and to take on. But sometimes when we build hard cars, yeah, drivable cars, we use this kind of system. Well, it's foam underneath, a big foam block. And then on top of this is some kind of what we call master pasta. It's stuff that you put on this car, it's soft, yeah? And then it gets hard, and then you can mill this, yeah? And then you can finish this nicely, you can paint this nicely, you can have all the hard edges. It's really heavy, yeah? And uh, we have to put some small wheels under the car to move them around, yeah? But it's really like a sculpture, you know? It really has this something carved out of marble, yeah? Koliko pa nam razkrivajo te skulpture? When you look at the, this, this section here, it's very, very close to the reality, yeah? And also the cross section is very close to the reality, yeah? So we're pretty sure about what we're doing. We don't lying here, yeah? Poglejmo torej, na katere električne škode pravzaprav čakamo. About 70% of our cars will be electric driven in 2030. And that means we need more cars. So what you are seeing here is the complete range, which we are thinking of is uh, possible, we should have. And that means that the Enyaq Coupé and the Enyaq is not only getting product aufwertung, a big uh, facelift, they are also getting new family members. Torej, dvema Enijakoma se bodo poleg že napovedenega velikega sedemsedežnega električnega SUV-ja pridružili še bolj klasično škodini modeli, bolj dostopni modeli. Edini, ki že ima ime, je L-Rock. In brez zadržkom so pri Škodi povedali, da bo to električni Karok. Verjetno pa bo najbolj težko pričakovan električni model Karavan oziroma Kombi. Kombis are part of our DNA. Our customer base is huge. It's millions of people who um, have enjoyed Škoda for many generations. So of course, you know, um, we have a customer base that we want to keep in the family, but then with a battery electric vehicle. Ampak čeprav Škoda že dolgo ni več znamka samo cenovno dosegljivih avtomobilov, pa se je klub temu moralo zgoditi. Če Volkswagen reče, da bo pripeljal spet en ljudski avtomobil, ljudski električni avtomobil, mali električni avtomobil za manj kot 25 tisoč evrov, potem seveda mora Škoda odgovoriti. Ampak Škoda odgovarja z drugačnim malim avtomobilom za 25 tisoč evrov, z malim SUV-om. Poglejmo, zakaj? You expected something smaller than that? Yes. Please. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's, you know, the, the, the car from the inside is spacious like, uh, you know, a purely developed battery electric vehicle. So it's really big, it's really spacious. But hey, um, at the moment, if you want to have something that is smaller than that, then you will have to gravitate towards the ICE models. So what do you from do Skoda, you? of course. What will be the name of this Fabic? <laughs> Wow, we, uh, that's a, a creative idea. We, we're not revealing that yet. We're currently um, examining what the right name for that car will be. Zdi pa se, da se Čehi električni prihodnosti zgolj prilagajo, ker se pač morajo. Brez zadržkov povejo, da bodo še dolgo razvijeli tudi klasične benzinske avtomobile. Oh, yes, we will. Of course, we plan to also sell cars outside Europe, but the legislation for Europe is, is official. Seveda, zato ni bilo prav nobeno presenečene, da je nam, evropskim novinarjem, družbo na predstavici delalo neobičajno veliko število indijskih novinarjev. Kdo ve, morda pa se bo škodi nadaljno ukvarjene z današnjimi avtomobili obrastovalo tudi v Evropi. 
ampak če drugega ne, so si v Volkswagenovem koncernu razdelili upravila in tako je Škoda po novem razvila tudi novega Volkswagena. It's a complete new generation, complete new cars, especially the Superb. We will have still both versions. We will have the Combi and we will have the Limousine. And it's a joint development together with Volkswagen. And what also nice for us is we were responsible for. Leading the project means that for sure the design is always in each house. So that means Volkswagen makes its design, Skoda makes its design. To bring design into life, that was done together with us. So we were responsible for that. Torej, prihaja ta nova Superb in Passat, pri čemer pa bo slednji samo še kot karavan, oba pa bodo dokončali Čehi. Poglejmo, kaj še lahko izvemo o teh tveh legendah. Well, I cannot say too much about that now. I'm really sorry. Why? Why? Why is it like this? The, the world premiere is in autumn this year and I'm sorry, we have to keep that for autumn. Ampak v nekaj pa smo vendarle že lahko prepričani, da bo tudi novi Superb preključni hibrid. It will have a higher range than today for sure. Kaj bo nadomestilo trdobeno v električnih skulpturah, bomo videli od prihodnega leta naprej. Že jeseni pa bomo spoznali novega Superba. Kako pa se današnji Superb pelje po snegu in ledu v premerjavi z električnim enijakom, no to vam povemo z vašim naslednim klikom. Thank you.